Hello guys, welcome to the next video on uh, Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will discuss about HTML and style sheets with Qt widgets. So HTML widgets and uh, you know, windows are HTML aware. So what do I mean by that? So let's see an example. I have this demo project and I'm going to go to my main window.ui file and I'm going to take a label here, right? Now there are some properties here to change the fonts of uh, your uh, label, for example, this one. But if you want to do more, then uh, you can use, uh, for example, uh, HTML uh, attributes to use with these uh, labels. So how we can do it? For example, I want a text here, hello world, and uh, I want it in bold you can do it uh, from here also bold but let's say i want uh, this hello world to show in uh, red color so what i can do i can just write uh, here this html uh, tags if you uh, have learned html you know what this font uh, you know element is so just write font here and then is equal to the attribute is for example uh, color just write color and is equal to red for example we want to we want the red color here right and just close uh, this font here so whenever you give this and whenever you whenever you double click it once again and you can go to the source here and then you can uh, just uh, you know edit the source from here so something like this font right so when you see in this rich text it will show in red color right now let's say we want this in bold you can just uh, provide the bold attribute which is uh, b in these angle brackets and then just uh, close this b here and then go to rich text and now your text become bold for example instead of bold we want italic you just write i here as we do in html instead of b replace this by i and then your font becomes uh, italic right or for example um, you want some uh, headings you can just give h1 here and uh, here also h1 attribute and go to rich text box and you can see h1 uh, you know tag is applied here and when you click ok you see uh, your font color and uh, this h1 tag is applied to your label so what i wanted to say is uh, this label and other widgets are html aware right for example let's say we want here to show some table which is a html kind of table not the table view but html table to just display some kind of table so what we can do here we can uh, just give the code for the table i have the sample code for uh, showing some table you can just find uh, this uh, table uh, html table uh, online and you will be able to see lots of uh, code there right and when you see here in the rich text box the table is created and when you click ok you can see this uh, table is also uh, you know possible to show in the label right so uh, you can play with uh, these HTML, uh, you know, elements and tags and see what you can uh, do more with your widgets. Now, the second thing is style sheet as uh, HTML also have uh, style sheets like CSS files. You can also give uh, these style uh, sheet attributes to your uh, widgets. So, for example, I will take a push button from here, right? and now what i want here is i want to show uh, the color of uh, this push button as uh, once again red or any other color so just choose your uh, push button here and uh, go to the property called style sheet here there's a property called style sheet just open this uh, property and in here you can uh, you know give uh, these uh, kind of properties like uh, gradients and the colors or fonts or any uh, resources like uh, you know background images from here also right so for example i want to give the color is equal to uh, red so as we can do in uh, you know normal css file just write color and then give this uh, 
colon and then give the name of the color for example yellow color and then the semicolon here okay and then click ok and you can see the font of this um, push button is yellow now let's say it's red so that we can see it better so just do red and click ok and now it becomes red right so there are some uh, you know more style sheets for example font size or font styles or font family you can apply here for example i want uh, the font size equal is equal to 12 uh, pixel or 12 px i can just go here and i can just write uh, font size is equal to or colon 12 px or let's say it's uh, 20 px right and click ok and this font size becomes uh, 20 px right or you want the fonts font uh, style to be italic so you can uh, just use this and then in here just write font style and italic and give semicolon here and click ok and now font style become italic or uh, for example you want uh, let's say uh, some uh, kind of uh, mixed font uh, view for example you want uh, some kind of uh, font uh, style so let's give some font style or just give this kind of uh, other fonts right so you can just give font bold italic large and the font is times uh, new roman right and you can remove the other things and then click ok and now you can see this font is applied here right or uh, once again the font size we can apply or change here for example 12 px here and uh, here also i forgot the semicolon so just give this and click ok okay so this becomes a 12 px right now let's say we want a line edit here and we want to give some styles to our line edit so i'm going to take a line edit here and let's say we want to change the attribute of this so for example we want to change the border attribute of this uh, line edit so what we can do here is we can apply the things here so just choose this go to style sheet here and let's say the border width here we want to apply is two pixel border style is solid and uh, the border color is uh, dark blue for example right so just click ok and you can see this uh, style is applied to your uh, line edit here okay so you can play with uh, these uh, things and uh, see what you can uh, do more for example uh, you want to give the image background image you can also do from here so for example i want to choose this uh, main window widget and i want the style sheet from here so for example i will first of all add a resource file here yeah? so i'm going to right click and add new and go to qt uh, resource file choose from here i'm going to name it as resource itself give uh, next and click finish yeah and in here i'm going to add a new prefix for example img for image and then i'm going to add a file here so i'm going to add a file i already have a file in my project which is inside my image folder so i'm going to just choose this background image and click ok and you can see the path is defined in our resource file this resource file how to use them i have shown shown you in the previous video so hopefully you uh, you know remember this thing right so once again we are going to go to our uh, main window.ui file choose the background choose the style sheet property here so i'm choosing this main window right choose the style sheet property and from the resource you can just go here also and choose the background image and then choose this background image which you have uh, chosen in the resources right click ok so you can see this uh, attribute is as added to your uh, uh, style sheet and click ok and this background is uh, applied to your uh, main window this is the image right 
So in this way, you can use HTML and style sheets in uh, Qt. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment, subscribe and bye for now.